pretty cool. And then if you Thunder Focus T and you use your Crackling Jade Lightning, you can crackle and it's it's ticking for 306k. So it's doing about a million damage per channel. <laughs> Yo, what's going on everybody this mystical today i am bringing you some changes that they just released for ptr for i think it's 11.0.5 and i'm actually on the ptr to test the changes and there are some some really good and interesting changes so first of all weapons of order and jade fire stomps icon has been updated this is the new icon for jade fire stomp they finally got rid of like the the night fey theme and they made it green which is really cool and then they they just made a bunch of misweaver changes so this affects both pvp and pve which is fantastic so misweaver's got a new passive ability called dome of mist which right now is currently a pvp talent but it looks like they removed it so no more dome of mist as a pvp talent um it makes envelop mist transforms into 80% of any periodic damage into a dome mist when dispelled, absorbing damage and increases healing received by the monk by 30% for eight seconds, learned at level 85. So I guess this is a passive. Uh, right now it is undispellable, they just made it. So I guess they're making it dispellable again, but we get dome of mist baseline now. Next up we have ancient teachings is now based on effect and transfers damage from crackling jade lightning, but now transfers 30% of damage into healing. If I look for ancient teachings, it's just a passive now. Jade Fire Teaching. So after Jade Fire Stomp or Thunder Focus T, Ancient Teachings transfers an additional 140% damage to healing for 15 seconds. And then while Jade Fire Teaching is active, your stamina is increased by 5%. So essentially, this is just a talent now. Jade Fire Teachings right here, they renamed it. So when you use your Thunder Focus T or your Jade Fire Stomp, you get the buff. So if I jade fire stomp i get the buff and then it looks like if i thunder focus t i also get the buff that'll be really handy for fist weaving like super super helpful for mythic plus and pvp freshman so life cocoon now grants five stacks of manatee and applies two stacks of healing elixirs to the target it looks like it's this right here so this is refreshment looks like they got rid of nourishing chi it's on a choice node with common coalescence and then yeah refreshments life cocoon grants up to five stacks of manatee and applies two stacks of healing elixir to the target all right so let me life cocoon this guy so this guy has two charges of healing so that's crazy so it'll heal for 15 percent of the max health when drop below 80 percent and then it also puts the other hots up that's wild holy cow that's cool. That's cool. That's a nice little passive to have. I it's really tough because and then you also get five stacks of manatee. But this is tough because you're losing out on 80% absorption on your life cocoon. So this is a tough choice node right here, but I would probably still go common coalescence, even though this gives five stacks of manatee. Uh, healing elixir is affected by damage at least in pvp i think in pve both can have a ch i mean it depends on what your team is doing but refreshing is actually kind of nice especially with like preemptive damage so that's good to know that's that's really really good to know this one looks fun so new talent uh, rushing wind kick uh kick up a powerful gust of wind dealing damage in a 25 yard cone to enemies in front of you split evenly among them and then damage is increased by five percent for each target hit up to 30 percent Grants rush, uh, rushing winds for four seconds, increasing renewing mist healing by 50%. Replaces rising sun kick and on a choice node with jade fire teachings. So this is right here. So you can either go jade fire teachings or rushing wind kick. You can't play both, which is a little sad. That would actually be really fun if you could fist weave with this. But so it's going to replace my rising sun kick. So I no longer have rising sun kick. And I guess let's just let's just press it out. What's the yard range? So this is a. 25 yard cone to enemies in front of you and then i grant get rushing winds for four seconds increasing renewing with healing by 50 percent. so i'm just gonna do damage here boom oh. and then i get uh the for, the buff to my renewing mist holy cow wait that's crazy this is a 10 second cooldown does it apply mystic touch it does okay wait that's so cool so if i could just boom <laughs> yeah that's actually sick that is amazing i hope it let's see if it breaks cc real quick let's just i'm just gonna in cap real quick and I just want to see if, like, if I'm targeting this guy and I, it doesn't break CC. Okay, that's really interesting. That's really good to know. So it doesn't break CC and it does damage in front of you, which is really nice. New talent, Jade Empowerment. Casting Thunder Focus T increases your next Crackling Jade Lightning's damage by 1,000%. And cause it to chain to four additional enemies. Choice Stone with Dance of Chi-G. All right, so that is right here. Okay. So Thunder Focus T increases the next Crackling Jade Lightning by a thousand. So this is whenever you have Thunder Focus T. So I wonder, oh, I don't have, I, you know what? This definitely works with two Thunder Focus Ts too with Master of Harmony. So if I Thunder Focus T, I get a buff called Jade Empowerment. Crackling Jade Lightning cleaves to four enemies and deals 1,000% increased damage. So if I Crackle, 
Okay, so it does the two people. So I guess there's like a a range that it has to be within a, within the enemy. So if I I wonder if this one could be like close enough to these two guys where it'll chain off this one and then chain off these guys. Let's see. So this is every time you Thunder Focus T either. I haven't used any charges of Thunder Focus T. You just get it every time you press Thunder Focus T, which is really nice. All right, Thunder Focus T. That's wild. Okay, that is actually good. That that That's actually good. I think this is more for PvP than like for PvE. Common Code Lessons we talked about uh, has been redesigned, increased the absorption, shout, uh, absorption amount of life cooling by 80%. Uh, this is this is fine. It just depends on how much it affects like health because we're gonna have a lot of health at, at the end of this expansion. Crackling Jade Lightning damage increased by 100%, which is fine. I mean, it already didn't do a whole lot of damage before, but <laughs> this talent is hilarious. Holy cow! Uh, Crackling Jade Lightning now channels 25% faster. That's really good. Blackout Kick damage increased by 25%. Awaken Jade Fire now additionally causes Blackout Kick to strike two additional targets at 70% effectiveness. So I'm assuming this this one's down here. Okay, so it increases the re uh, your ability to reset Jade Fire some 100% more often. And when you need your Tiger Palm strikes twice, your Blackout Kick strikes an additional two targets, 70% 70, 70 effectiveness, and your Spin Crank Kick heals allies for 9% of damage done. So it kind of just bakes it all into one talent, which is pretty nice. It saves up one talent when you're fist weaving. I can't get over this. I also really love so if I just it's so I love the animation on it too. Uh, Dance of Chigi has a uh, chance to trigger has been increased by 100% and has moved talent location. So Dance of Chigi is now here. So it's on a choice node with Jade Empowerment. So they're really kind of trying to split up the Mistweaving and the Fist Weaving talents, it seems like. Envelop Mist can now be dispelled. So that just goes with the Dome of Mist passive that we have. And then the following talents have been removed. Have been removed Nour Nourishing Chi and Ancient Concordance. So Nourishing Chi is gone and the Ancient Concordance, they kind of just baked into Awakened Jade Fire. I want to see if there's any PvP changes really quick. I don't know if there will be. Let's see, Monk. Oh, there are. Okay, Zen Sphere has been redesigned. Zen Sphere now has a six second cooldown, was none. A global cooldown of one second was 1.5. And then each sphere has a new initial heal or damage event. And Sphere of Despair now reduces all damage done by 3% to the Monk, was 10. Target deals 3% less damage. So instead of 10% damage to just the Monk, it's just 3% damage overall to the, from the target, which I guess is pretty good. Six second cooldown though, so you can just, I guess it just does damage. That's cool. And then it does some healing. So if I, if I do that, it does quite a bit of healing. 1.2 million heal and I only, my health pool is 756k. They're probably gonna have to balance the healing from this a little bit, but yeah, this, this could be good. This actually might be decent. I like that it has an initial heal. Uh, which is nice because the globals always felt awkward. It was similar to Yulon before Chi Cocoons. Um, it just felt like a global, a wasted global. Like you just wish it was off the GCD. But yeah, no, this is, this is, I mean, I'll take this change. So just to get a sense of what the damage numbers look like on kind of a low geared level 80. The kick is doing about 81k damage. So if you're geared, we're looking at like 100k plus damage, which is decent. It's not the most damage, but at least it's something. And then presents for your rework. The damage is looking like if let me go into war mode real quick. So if I use on enemy, it's doing 131k damage, which again isn't the most. It'll probably do about maybe 200k damage. And if I heal for somebody, it's doing 117k healing. Again, probably gonna do about 200, 250k healing. So not the most damage or healing, but at least it's something, right? And this damage can get increased from the kick for every person that you you get you hit. So boom, if you hit somebody. That's pretty cool. And then if you Thunder Focus T and you use your Crackling Jade Lightning, you can crackle and it's it's ticking for 306k. So it's doing about a million damage per channel. <laughs> so overall, these changes are pretty solid. I don't know. Maybe this will help Mistweaver quite a bit in PvP at least. The Jade Empowerment is pretty cool. The Zen Spheres change, I like it a lot. The fact that it has initial heal and init or initial damage, depending on what you're playing or using it for is is really nice. And uh, it, again, we have a lot of good PvP talents, so this will probably be used a lot. But when it comes to like the normal talents, again, my only concern is how viable is it to play all of these talents, right? Because right now we play Pure into Peace, we have Resplendent Mist, and we have Tea of Serenity. And then we have all of these that are kind of mandatory. And then we have no room to really use anything else unless you drop Shailun's Gift, of course. If you drop Shailun's Gift, then maybe you can play, you can play both if you drop Shailun's Gift, but then you're not getting value out of the Yulon um, buff that you get from playing the the uh, Condo of the Celestials. But then again, maybe you play Master of Harmony now. So that's interesting. That is it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.